In this module, I'm going to show you how you can create sashing with cornerstones. So we have our quilt here, and I really like the overall design. I like the blocks. I like the quantity of the blocks. But you can see here that the stars are getting lost. Now they're becoming more pieces, and the secondary shapes are starting to become more prominent. And so I'm going to want to add some sashing in between each of the rows of blocks or the columns of blocks. To do that, I'm going to select the entire column and then in the options button, right click and then insert a row before and a row after. And it'll just insert a column, sorry, a column um, to the left and right in the same width as all the other columns. And the last one, I just need to add one after. And you can see here, these are very, very wide columns. They're 12 inch wide, and this is too ginormous. So I'm going to select all of the columns. And then in the options, the first one is resize. And I want two inch sashing, so that's what I'm going to put there. There's always, pre-quilt always works with the finished sizing. And so now we have these narrower columns that are going to be the start of our sashing. This is perfect. I'm going to want to do the same thing now to the rows. I can insert a row before and after and continue doing that for the rest of the rows. And this is where we're, we're very inspired by the usability of Excel and other spreadsheets. So I have all those now and I'm going to select all of our new rows and resize those as well to two so that it's a consistent sashing between the columns and the rows and click OK. So now we have our sashing and you can see how they are both columns and rows and now it also naturally forms our cornerstones. So to fill them in, right now they're empty, and to fill them in, you'll probably recall from one of our earlier modules that you can go to the Blocks tab and then also expand the One Patch Blocks. And we can add our background fabric now into each of those sashing blocks. So I'm going to select multiple pieces of sashing and then click on Add to Quilt. And the beauty of the one patch blocks is that they will expand to whatever shape and dimensions that the empty cells are that we're adding them to. So I can do both the rows and the columns. And now what's left behind are the cornerstones. I'm going to want to make those something different so that they stand out. And in this case, I'm going to use the one patch block for fabric length D, which is the orange. Now, instead of doing it manually for all of them, I can actually highlight and select all of the sashing, the vertical sashing in that column and the entire bottom row. And I can copy all of that. Then I can paste them. And as long as you get the farthest left block or cell block, you can then paste that entire grouping again and again, and this will lighten the manual lift of setting all of those one patch blocks. Now you can see we have an entire quilt with these beautiful sawtooth star block variations and sashing with cornerstones.